I love eggplants and eggplant that I planted is now bearing fruit look at that that is a good eggplant and there are other eggplants that I'm hoping that will bear fruit and also the tomatoes look at the tomatoes see there are some fruits there hidden that are green and uh, oh look at that there are two trying to be ripe tomatoes mm, the smell of tomatoes are very good I love it I love plants so especially vegetable gardening and look at that oh my the cucumbers beautiful creation from God mmm maybe tomorrow I'll pick that up and uh, try to eat and also there are hidden fruit here there you go lying on the ground there's a small one here and uh, chili chiles are mmm the other plants that are trying to grow are the okras, the malungais, and the sitaos. There on the side are the lettuce. And then this is a guji berry, wolf berry they call it. This tree will bear, someday will bear fruit and it's good. Avocado and the lemon, lemon tree. And uh, yep. On the other on the other garden are the yeah, that's one tomato and then the rest are ampalayas that I I like to grow because they are healthy for you. These are the camotes, camote, sita, and there these are the the plums there that are growing now in the backyard. Hmm. These are. The vegetable garden that uh, are so enjoyable when you start seeing the growth of their fruit. Building people is like gardening. You cultivate the soil you nourish them by water you allow them to be exposed to sunlight and you take care of them every day and someday they will bear fruit this is the work of building up people in the kingdom of God I learned in my ministry that indeed God instructed Peter to feed his flock in fact, he challenged Peter that if he loved Jesus, he would take care of the flock of God. Well, just like gardening, building people up is nurturing them, cultivating them, allowing them to have sunshine, watering them. You need to do whatever you, you need to do in order for the for the garden to grow. People need relationship. And I think God showed us how to be in relationship with each other. The greatest commandment is actually only one divided into two parts. But they're the same. Love for God and love for man. If you don't love God, you can't love people. If you can't love people, it's impossible to love God. The greatest commandment is indeed love, for God is love, and it is just the same. Love God and love people. There is no first or second, it's all about love. The greatest of this is love. That's what Paul says in his letter to Corinthians. So, the next time we look at people, look at the garden, the vegetable garden that I've grown, if you want them to bear fruit for the kingdom, 
you gotta do what you gotta do to build them up. May God bless you today. This is my prayer.